Hello, coaches and basketball enthusiasts. Welcome to the Coach Carvalho podcast, where we explore the world of statistically based basketball strategies and bowl training methods. I am Coach Carvalho, your host. In today's episode, we dive deep into the recent training exhibition match between the U.S. and the Canadian men's Olympic teams. Watching the game, I couldn't help but draw some stark comparisons to the legendary 1992 Olympic Dream Team. Join me as I share my observations and insights on what this current U.S. team needs to do to reach their full potential as they prepare for the upcoming Olympics in Paris. As I observed the game, I couldn't help but feel negatively impressed by the performance of the U.S. team and the distractions on and off the court. My observations led me to compare them to the legendary 1992 Olympic Dream Team, whom I had the privilege to scout during the America Cup in Portland and the Barcelona Games as a member of the Brazilian Olympic team's coaching staff. The 1992 team was far more business-oriented. They did not joke around and were on a mission to prove that the U.S. was the dominant force in basketball and leave no doubts about it. Their focus and determination were palpable, significantly contributing to their court dominance during the games. But focusing on the U.S. versus Canada game, several aspects stood out to me. The U.S. team struggled defensively, failing to contain Canada's offensive plays. A noticeable lack of communication and coordination among the players led to easy scoring opportunities for the Canadian team. Offensively, the U.S. team appeared stagnant. They could not find a rhythm and maximize their potential, particularly against Canada's own defense. This lack of fluidity and movement was concerning as it prevented the team from capitalizing on their talents. LeBron James' attitude and lack of positive leadership were also significant issues. LeBron needs to assume the role of a player, not the coach. His overbearing presence can distract players and the coaching staff both on and off the court. The hierarchy must be respected to maintain team cohesion. There is undoubtedly potential for this team to become a strong contender. However, they will face tall, athletic, and skilled players, many currently playing in the NBA. The challenge lies in transforming this group of talented individuals into a cohesive unit. At the end of the game, Steph Curry answered a reporter's questions with the following statement. No matter what your stats are, no matter how many minutes you play, if everybody on the floor commits to just doing what you're asked to do, we'll be good. Steph's answer raises the question of whom he was addressing and whether he feels that something is missing in the mindset of this team. His words suggest a call for unity and adherence to roles, hinting at a potential underlying issue with individual players not fully committing to the team's collective goals. Steve Kerr and his coaching staff have a significant task ahead of them. Can it be done? Yes, but time is of the essence. The team's leadership must come from the coaching staff and the hierarchy must be respected. With this structure in place, the team can navigate the adversities of the Olympics in Paris with confidence. The U.S. team has the potential to win the gold medal. Still, there's also a far-fetched risk of not qualifying for an Olympic medal if individual egos prevail over collective goals. The journey to becoming a cohesive and successful team is challenging, but it is achievable with exemplary leadership, commitment, and teamwork. As the Olympics approach, let's see how they progress during the next training matches. The road to Olympic gold is never easy, and the U.S. men's team has its work cut out for them. With the right mindset, leadership, and a commitment to unity, they have the potential to achieve greatness. As we move closer to the Olympics, I'll continue to share insights and updates on their journey. Well, coaches, that wraps up today's episode. If you found today's episode insightful, please show your support by leaving likes and comments on our podcast website. Your feedback helps us continue bringing you valuable content and your engagement is vital in attracting on-site advertisements. Remember, you can access our podcast on various platforms, including TuneIn, Spotify, iHeartRadio, Player FM, and more. Search for Coach Carvalho Podcast to catch up on our episodes. Coaches, I look forward to having you as our guest on the next episode. Until next time, thanks for tuning in and keep pushing the boundaries and defying the odds. This is Coach Carvalho signing off.